subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Marvelous Spatule Tale. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, Dad lent me his Polaroid camera. Let me take a photo of you. Ready? One, two. Oh, what's that? A bee? No, it looks like a small bird. Look, it has two very long things attached to its tail. How interesting. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, pretty bird. So what did you find out about the bird? Hi, Leo. This special bird is called a marvelous spatule tail. A marvelous what? A marvelous spatule tail. See the two things on its tail? Those are long feathers that end in discs or spatules. Only the male bird has those two long tails. Oh, I see. The marvelous spatule tail is a hummingbird. The buzzing sound you heard is the humming sound made by the fast movements of the wings. Normal birds flap their wings up and down, but hummingbirds turn their wings in circles. This allows them to hover in midair and fly left, right, up, down, backwards, and even upside down. Marvelous spatule tails are only found in the forest edges of northern Peru, a country in South America. Unfortunately, there aren't many of them left. That means we have to take this marvelous spatule tail home safely. Come and join us. Yeah, let's do that. See you downstairs. Marvelous spatule tail is not moving at all. Oh no, is it okay? Hmm, when hummingbirds can't find food, they go into a deep sleep. They do that to save energy. They use a lot of energy for flying, so they always need nectar from flowers. So the marvelous spatule tail is hungry, but there are no flowers with nectar in this place. Now the bird will starve to death. <laughs> Water? Thanks, Hero. But that won't be enough for the bird. It needs nectar, which has a lot of sugar in it. I think I have an idea. In some places, people put feeders in their garden and fill it with homemade nectar, so the hummingbirds always have food, even when there are no flowers around. We can use this bottle to make a feeder. Great idea, Katie. But how do you make nectar? Hello, Junior Rangers. The easiest way to make nectar is to dissolve some sugar in water. We have water, but where can we get sugar from? Here. Have some of my sugar. Uh, thanks, Ranger Rocky. We can cut this bottle in half and use the bottom half to put the nectar in. Great idea, Katie. I'll take care of that. you got to be careful with scissors. There. I'll leave the rest to you, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Here is some sugar. Stir the water to dissolve the sugar. Here, Birdie, have some nectar. I hope it tastes good. It's working, Leo. It's drinking the nectar. Go get some nectar, marvelous spatule tail. Look, it's a female marvelous spatule tail. He is doing his dance again. We did it. We found the home of the marvelous spatule tail. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay!
found a marvelous spatula tail in our garden. We learned that the marvelous spatula tail is a very special hummingbird and that its wings move really fast. So we took it back home where there are a lot of flowers to feed from. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow-eyed penguin. What's the matter, hero? Did your name sign fall off? Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, yeah, the name sign. Don't worry, Hero. I'm sure we can fix it. Hey, was that a penguin? I think it likes your doghouse, Hero. Shh! I think you're scaring it, Hero. Hi, penguin. Don't worry about Hero. He won't bite. Oh, you have yellow eyes. This must be a very special penguin. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Don't be shy, penguin. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. This penguin is called a yellow-eyed penguin. It is one of the rarest penguins in the world. That means there aren't many of them left. Yellow-eyed penguins are only found in parts of New Zealand and some islands around it. Wow, so we're very lucky to meet one. What do they eat? Yellow-eyed penguins eat fish and squid, which they catch in the sea. However, their natural home is in the forest of New Zealand. So after a day out at sea, they return to their nests deep in the forests. Since yellow-eyed penguins are endangered, it's important that they have more babies. That's why this penguin should live in a place where there are other yellow-eyed penguins. Which means we should take it home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Look, Leo, there are two yellow-eyed penguins there They are making the loud calls Ranger Rocky told us about A yellow-eyed penguin is shouting too the people here call the yellow-eyed penguin hoi-ho, which means noise shouter. So they call them hoi-hos. Hey, what's that? Oh no, there are two tourists over there, and they are taking photos. The penguins are running away. They must have been frightened by the camera flashes. Leo, we have to stop them from coming too close to the penguins. <coughs> Hero, where are you going? There he is. <coughs> Maybe we can use sticks to build a fence. A fence could stop the tourists from coming closer to the penguins. Hmm, no. That would take much too long. Yeah, you're right. I know. Do you have markers, Leo? Yes, I do. Here. Hero, I think we'll need one more stick. Great idea, Katie. Let me help you. There. That should do it. And there's Hero, just in time. Yes, it's working. Hooray! Look, there's another penguin. It must be our penguin's mate. We did it! We found the yellow-eyed penguin's home! Great job, everybody! Hooray! Yay! We found 
found a yellow-eyed penguin in our garden. We learned that the yellow-eyed penguin is rare and endangered and that they live in the forest. So we took it back to its home where it can be safe. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Oriental Pied Hornbill. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm picking apples for Mom so she can make an apple pie. Do you want to help me look for some ripe apples? <coughs> oh, here's a nice ripe apple. Ah, oh, this one's good too. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Is there something in that tree? Oh, it's just a lizard. <coughs> <gasps> that big bird is trying to catch the lizard. That bird has such a big beak. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, birdie. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is an oriental pied hornbill. There are many types of hornbills in the world. They can look very different from one another, but all of them have long beaks that curve downwards. Wow, look at all those big beaks. The hornbill in our garden tried to catch a lizard with its beak. Besides lizards, Oriental pied hornbills eat animals like frogs, small birds, and large insects. They also feed on wild fruits. By the way, oriental pied hornbills live in the rainforests of South and Southeast Asia. Hmm, we should take the oriental pied hornbill back to the rainforest, or it might eat all the fruit in our garden. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Oh no! Why have all these trees been cut down? These trees might have been cut down for wood. Wood is used to make furniture, paper, and many other things. Or maybe these trees have been cleared so houses can be built on the land. Sadly, many animals, including the Oriental Pied Hornbill, lose their homes when forests are destroyed. That's sad. We'd better drive deeper into the forest. Hopefully the trees aren't cut there. What's that sound? Leo, stop. Look, there are people cutting down trees. <laughs> oh no, that tree's gonna fall on us. Phew, that was close. Did you hear that, Leo? I hear it too. Hornbill, where are you going? Sit tight, we're going after it. Maybe it's trying to find its way home. I can't see it anymore. There it is. There you are, Mr. Hornbill. Don't worry, we'll help you find your home. Look, Leo. The Hornbill is collecting some figs for its mate and chicks. I can hear the baby Hornbills. We did it. We found the Oriental Pied Hornbill's nest. Great job, everybody! Yay! Hooray! an oriental pied hornbill in our garden. 
We learned that oriental pied hornbills seal their nests with mud and that the male hornbill brings food to its mate and the chicks. So we went to the rainforest and helped the hornbill find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow crested cockatoo. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to play musical statues? When the music plays, you dance. But when the music stops, you have to stop immediately. Okay, remember, when I stop the music, you have to freeze. Well done, Hero. Now it's my turn. You control the music. Hey, what's this? I win. I win. Oh, it can talk. Did you hear that too? The bird said something. Maybe it's a parrot. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So did you find anything? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is indeed a parrot. And this one is called a yellow-crusted cockatoo. It gets its name because of the yellow feathers, or crown, on its head. The cockatoo will raise those feathers on its head whenever it's surprised or when it tries to impress others. The yellow-crusted cockatoo originally comes from parts of Indonesia and East Timor. Nowadays, they live in a few more places. Some people have yellow-crusted cockatoos as pets, but their real homes are tropical forests and open woodlands. There, they eat things like seeds, fruits, and flowers. Unfortunately, there aren't many of these birds left. That's so sad. We should protect it by taking it back to its original home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs, Leo. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Let's leave the Jeep. It's easier to walk here. Okay, Leo. Okay, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cockatoo, where are you going? There are seeds and berries on the ground. I wonder who left them here. Look, it continues all the way. <gasps> Leo, it's a trap. Cockatoo, stop! Oh, no! Don't worry, Cockatoo. We'll get you out. Leo, it's a Komodo dragon. Hero, Komodo dragons are very dangerous. Their bites are venomous, so stay away from him. I can't. It's stuck. Leo. I can't open it, but I won't leave you, bird. Katie, hold on. That was close. Almost. There. You're free, bird. Free, bird. Free, bird. Katie, the cockatoo is dancing again. Bye bye, cockatoo. Bye bye, bye, bye cockatoo. Bye bye, 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 cockatoo. We did it. We found a home for the yellow crested cockatoo. Good job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow crested cockatoo in our garden. We learned that.
that yellow-crested cockatoos can talk and that they like to dance and move. People like to keep them as pets, but cockatoos really belong in the wild. So we found a new home for the cockatoo. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The barn owl. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I got from Grandpa and Grandma. It's a toy that makes animal sounds, like so. <laughs> that was the sound of a dog. See, if I press a button, a sound appears. Do you know which animal this sound belongs to? <laughs> That's right. It belongs to an owl. An owl makes a hooting sound. <laughs> What's that scary sound? It's up there. Hey, it looks like an owl. But it doesn't sound like the owl from my toy. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, why does this owl not hoot? Hi, Leo. Well, not all owls sound the same. And this owl is a barn owl. A barn owl. I see. So, a barn owl communicates in a different way than other owls. That's right. But like most owls, barn owls are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. How can they hunt when they are so loud? Of course barn owls don't call when they hunt. They also have fine, soft feathers that help them fly silently when they hunt their prey. This makes barn owls very quiet and great hunters. However, adult barn owls returning to their nest may sometimes call out to their young. Wow! So what do barn owls eat? Barn owls eat different small animals, such as mice, rats, birds, and fish. I see. Where can they be found? Except for Antarctica, these birds can be found almost anywhere in the world. They are often called barn owls because they are commonly found in barns. But these owls can live in other places, such as grasslands and forest edges. Hmm. I think the garden is no place for the barn owl to live. It needs a better place to hunt. We should bring it back to its home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the owl would love that. Let's go. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. We just need to cross this water. The barn owl's home should be on the other side. It must be happy to be so close to home. Hey, wait for us, little friend. How do we cross this water? It's a small bridge. Great! What was that? It's the barn owl. It sounds like it's in trouble. We have to hurry. Over there! It's stuck! Oh no! Let's free it! Hold still, little friend. I'm only trying to help. It's the net. The barn owl is afraid of it. We should try to take its attention away from the net to calm it down. Let's try this. It's the animal sound toy. You brought it with you. Here, little friend. Listen to this. <coughs> and it's off. Phew. Great job, everyone. We did it! We found the barn owl's home! 
Great job, everybody! Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a barn owl in our garden. We learned that the barn owl is an excellent hunter at night and that it likes to live in places like tree holes. So we went to the grassland and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.